Hi, thank you so much for stopping by. Today will be part two of my fall decorating series. Stay tuned, I'm planning to do a final part, a part three where I will give a home tour of all my fall decor in one video. Let me know if that's something you guys are interested in or are you completely sick of fall decor? If you are interested, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you. Let's get started. Before decorating, I thought I'd bake a pumpkin treat to get me in the spirit of fall. I picked up this Krusty's pumpkin mix from Sam's Club a couple days ago. I have used this last year and my family absolutely loved it. So when I saw it back in stock, I couldn't resist. You can bake pumpkin bread, make pumpkin pancakes, pumpkin cookies. That's what I'm making here. It is so good guys, and no, this is not a sponsored video, but if you are looking to make an easy fall treat, this is it. And I'm curious, are you a pumpkin fan? Let me know what your favorite fall treat is. If I close my eyes and think about us, I can see the person I know I should be. Cause honestly, I don't have no time to waste. I'm trying to go back to you because... Now to clean up the mess. And I also had a few dirty dishes already in the sink, so I'm gonna go ahead and put those in the dishwasher. But you're not gonna see a whole lot of cleaning in this video. This is going to be more of a decorating video. However, I will be doing some light cleaning, such as dusting, wiping down of countertops, tabletops, that kind of thing. But let me know if you decorate for fall, and if so, which rooms do you decorate? Do you decorate your family room? your kitchen or just the porch or do you do the whole house i'd love to hear how you decorate of course to set the mood i have to light a candle and this candle is from bath and body works it is the flannel scented candle and it smells so good. This is definitely one of my many favorites, many fall favorites. The other favorite would be leaves. It's such a good one. I know I've mentioned it in the previous video, but do you like scented candles? Do you use candles? I'd love to hear your favorites. I'm going to keep things very simple for my table decor. I'm using this buffalo check runner. I love how it matches the buffalo check that I have in the family room there. You can see just a little peekaboo of it. Um, and for the centerpiece, I'm reusing the wooden tray and the moss balls that I already had there. I just love that simplistic look. And to make it a little more fall, I'm going to add this white pumpkin. I got this recently from Home Goods. It says, hello fall, and I think it's so cute. And I just like to keep my decor style a little bit more on the minimal side. I find that if I start out very minimal, then I can kind of gradually add pieces as time goes on because decorating is definitely trial and errors. Sometimes I think I like it a certain way only to change it a couple days later. Can anyone else relate to this?
I'm using a neutral color scheme for my fall decor this year and it's the same color scheme I went with last year and the year before. I know, big surprise. I just absolutely love neutral colors and I can't seem to stray from the fall neutral colors. But I did add some brighter pops of orange in my family room this year, so I'm kind of testing the waters. But I am primarily using the majority of the fall decor I used last year, although I did buy a couple floral stems and a few pumpkins um, this year that I couldn't resist. But for the most part, all of the, fall, all of the fall decor you see in this video is fall decor that I already had on hand. I love reusing decor that I have in my house. I even love just getting creative with pieces that aren't necessarily meant for just fall. For example, this picture, I had that already on hand and just thought it would be make a really adorable vase. Um, but if you have any question as to where any fall decor is from, leave it in the comments below. To secure the wreath, I tied a ribbon to the back of the wreath and tied a big knot in the back so that I could tuck it behind the cupboard door. And we don't ever use these cupboard doors, so I knew it would be okay up there that way. Otherwise, I would have used a command strip hook. That's also a great idea. I was being a little lazy here, but I thought I would dress the wreath up with some of these little white floral baby's breath it just kind of added this pop of white to the floral and tied it in with the little centerpiece I have on my island <laughs> I picked up this adorable little pumpkin vase from Michaels. It looks like a taller pumpkin to me. I think it's so cute. I picked up a shorter one as well, but I just thought this would look adorable on my soap tray next to the sink. Just a little subtle pop of fall decor. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again. What's wrong with them? I don't understand. Maybe it will pass by someone save me for a pass out until the to decorate this little counter space, I'm filling some mason jars that I already had on hand with some candy. I picked up this candy corn from the Dollar Tree. Um, definitely a better price than other stores I've seen. But I love the idea of those large clear canisters where someone will fill them with cookies and little decorative rows. I wanted to go with that look, but I didn't think I would use the canisters year round um, just because I don't like a lot of things out on my countertops. That's just me. But I thought I'd mention it because I think that's another great little fall idea that you could fill those canisters with really any type of treat that you can think of, any type of fall treat. Um, but I'm also going to add these little pumpkins into this glass cylinder. Another cute idea that I got off Pinterest. So many great ideas on Pinterest. So do you ever get tired of your furniture pieces and find that you have to move them from room to room or wall to wall over time? That is me. I definitely get bored with my furniture sometimes and to liven things up and to get me enthused about it again, 
I have to move it. I have to move it to a new space. So that's what I'm doing here with my foyer table that I originally had in this space under the mirror there. Um, I just got really bored with this piece, so I'm going to move it to another area. And I put instead this glass or this, or this mir mirrored table that I originally had in my family room. If you follow my channel, then you know that was has been in my family room for a long time and I just really love it here in the foyer. I think it goes perfectly. I saw you from across the room When I was met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kind of strange I absolutely love these baskets. I picked these up from Target recently. You may have seen that recent video, but I just love how these complete the look of this foyer table. And I love even more that they're not just decorative, but they're also functional. You can store throw blankets in there. You could store even shoes in there if you wanted to. So many things you could store in there and it just really completed this look. I added some white lanterns that I already owned. These are from Pier 1 and Kirkland's, and I just love how you can put any seasonal decor item, or decorate these lanterns, I should say, for any season. Um, I wanted to put pumpkins in these lanterns, but unfortunately completely ran out of pumpkins, so I had a few pine cones on hand that I was able to put in the smaller lanterns, but that was about it. So I'm gonna have to pick up some more pumpkins because I think that would just be such a cute look. You see me reaching into that blue bin there. I had some of my fall decor stored in that bin and I do get questions about storage and I store all of my decor items in bins and I keep them stored in our basement. We have an area in our basement where we have shelves that we keep all the bins on. So that is how I store my 
my seasonal decor and um, as far as pillows I like to store those upstairs so I have a hall closet that I keep the pillows stored in because that way I can interchange them and they're easily accessible when I need them. I got these seagrass chargers recently from Ikea. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know this, but they were $5 each. And I'm not sure if that was a good price or not, but I love that look and I couldn't resist them. Let me know down below though, if you think $5 was a good price for the chargers, I think it was fair. And I just love the look that it adds with my white chargers on top. I'm not doing like a real formal setting here. This is just very casual. Um, and the addition of the pumpkins, so cute, just ties it all together. Oh, I will hold you in the dark, make you forget about what's wrong. To dress up my buffet table, I'm adding this garland. I got this from Michaels a couple years ago. And to make it even a little more full, I am adding these eucalyptus stems. I picked these up recently from, again, Michaels. They had a 40% off. Their flor fall florals couldn't resist. But I just love how it completes the buffet and the colors of that garland and stems just goes perfectly with my color scheme. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and found it inspiring. Hopefully you got a few ideas for your fall decorating. If you're decorating for fall or if you're not decorating, hopefully you were able to just have a short break in the day and found it a little relaxing. But please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and most of all, have a beautiful day. I will see you in my next video. Take care. I don't want you close